The month of April is Sexually Transmitted Infections Awareness Month, and reports show that STIs are on the rise. Among the highest are cases of syphilis. Why that is, I'm not particularly certain. I think part of it is that there's a lot with uh, syphilis where there is unknown primary cases, and then um, you know, lack of diagnosis, lack of awareness, and then transmission to to other partners after that. Dr. Donald Dumford is an infectious disease specialist. He says symptoms of syphilis can include painless ulcers and sores on the genitals, body rashes, muscle pain, and fatigue. If left untreated, it can cause blindness and damage a person's organs. Dr. Dumford says the best way to prevent sexually transmitted infections is to use protection and be tested regularly. There is also no shame in going in for an examination if you suspect you may have contracted something. The sooner you are treated, the better. As far as treatment goes, um, you know, there are, there are different options depending on which, uh, which sexually transmitted infection it is, all of which are, are relatively benign and uh, mostly well tolerated. And according to the Centers for Disease Control, HPV is considered the most common sexually transmitted infection, which is why the HPV vaccine is highly recommended. It can help protect against HPV infections that can progress to cancer. Next.